Hey guys, I'm Lauren Christopher and I'm Emily Shawson. And welcome to the seventh edition of the summer series of this week. So this morning, Emily and I took a tour of Jordan-Hare Stadium to see what the video board looks like at this point, and it was progressing quite nicely. All of the video paneling is done, it's starting to really take form, and the finish date of around August 28th before the season starts is on schedule and the progress is going nicely. The audio has been immensely improved. There's giant speakers over our giant video board um, and there's also new ribbon paneling uh, along the sides of the stadium and they turn that on for a little bit and it looks pretty cool. So. It does look good. It's very sharp. The images look a lot clearer and as Andy Young, who we talked to this morning, talked about it, they're trying to um, scale that up for a bigger board that they're not used to doing but he says that it's going pretty well. There's like 40 students that will be operating the board all the time so we're very appreciative because mm -hmm. it's super cool. Anyway. And that's twice as many students that had to work it last season, so we'll see how that goes with all of them kind of cooperating with each other. But another football news, the Maxwell Football Club released earlier this week that Jeremy Johnson and Duke Williams are up for the Maxwell Award, and Casanova McKenzie is up for the Bednarik Award, which is for the Defensive Player of the Year. Also, Coach Melzon has selected three players to go with him to media days on July 13th. It's coming up quick. Um, he has Chris Frost, Jonathan Jones, and Jeremy Johnson uh, will be going with him. And the SEC uh, network is doing a feature story on e a play one player from each team. Um, Jeremy Johnson will be representing Auburn, and his Be On The Field story is featured on his community service works and how he got so involved through the influence of his stepmother. And in basketball news, um, the Auburn basketball team spiked in, a, in average attendance from last year to this year by 2,002 fans, which averaged 7,825 fans per game in 17 season home games. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, baseball alum and bringer of rain, Josh Donaldson. He is the starting in the five position for the American League All-Star team. Um, he received the most votes, breaking the record that Texas Rangers outfielder Josh Hamilton set in 2012. Not 2012. Um, Donaldson received over 14 million votes, um, and the All-Star game will be in Cincinnati July 14th, so be sure to tune in. Um, He's doing really well this year, y'all, like hitting over 300, like he's fun to watch, so do it. <laughs> yeah, and in Ben's golf news, the Barbasol Championship is coming right around the corner. It starts Thursday, July 16th, which is this coming Thursday, and will end the 19th. And we just got news that Ben Schlotman, who is the SEC Freshman of the Year this past year, and the first freshman on the men's golf team to go All-American, will make his PGA Tour debut there as well, and also a alum. Pat and Kizar is coming as well, and they will both join Blaine Barber in the championship. So we will see how they do. That's all for this week in sports. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.